Unveiling Cloud Seeding Navigating the Science and Purpose Behind Weather Modification Introduction Cloud seeding, a form of weather modification, has intrigued scientists and meteorologists for decades as a potential tool to enhance precipitation and manage water resources. This article explores the purpose of cloud seeding and the mechanisms behind this intriguing process. The Purpose of Cloud Seeding The primary goal of cloud seeding is to increase rainfall or snowfall in specific areas, aiming to address water scarcity, enhance water supply, and potentially mitigate drought conditions. This intentional intervention in atmospheric processes is a response to the growing demand for water resources in various regions worldwide. Cloud seeding is often employed in regions where water supply is a critical issue, agricultural activities heavily depend on precipitation, or water reservoirs require replenishment. While cloud seeding is not a cure-all solution, it is considered one of the tools available for managing water resources in certain circumstances. How Cloud Seeding Works Cloud seeding involves introducing substances into clouds to encourage the formation or enhancement of precipitation. The most common method of cloud seeding utilizes silver iodide or, in some cases, calcium chloride or potassium iodide as seeding agents. These substances serve as ice nuclei, promoting the coalescence of water droplets and the freezing of supercooled water in the cloud. Here is a simplified breakdown of the cloud seeding process. Introduction of Seeding Agents Cloud seeding aircraft or ground-based generators release seeding agents into the atmosphere. These agents act as nuclei around which ice crystals can form. Formation of ice crystals. In clouds containing supercooled water droplets, liquid water below freezing temperature, the seeding agents encourage the formation of ice crystals. This process initiates the growth of ice particles in the cloud. Enhanced precipitation. As the ice crystals grow, they may collide with other cloud droplets, coalesce, and form larger ice particles. These particles eventually fall to the ground as precipitation, whether in the form of rain or snow, depending on the atmospheric conditions. Challenges and considerations. While cloud seeding has shown some success in certain situations, its effectiveness remains a subject of ongoing research and debate. Factors such as cloud composition, atmospheric conditions, and the availability of seeding agents all influence the outcome of cloud seeding efforts. Additionally, ethical and environmental considerations surround weather modification practices, prompting careful evaluation of potential unintended consequences and ecological impacts. Conclusion Cloud seeding stands at the intersection of science, technology, and the quest for sustainable water management. The purpose of this weather modification technique is rooted in the need to address water-related challenges in specific regions. While cloud seeding has shown promise in certain contexts, ongoing research and careful assessment are essential to ensure its responsible and effective application as part of broader water resource management strategies.